host, Jacob Polino, and today, we'll be talking about study break. Before we start, let me introduce our guest for today's episode, Ms. Xavier Leonard Aldeo and Ms. Miguel Hamburg. Hi. So, what is the meaning of study break? Study break is taking breaks from studying every 20 minutes or so can improve both focus and attention. So, I will ask Xavier first, what we will do during study breaks? There are many options to consider when planning a study break, like talking a walk, playing a game, listening to music, watching a movie, talking to a friend, or simply taking a nap. Oh, it turns out that there are so many options because we don't do anything at all and it can be done in our houses or anywhere else. Well, yeah, it is. What is the importance of that? Why should we do study breaks? Studies show that people generally cannot do more than 90 minutes of sustained intellectual work. Like studying, there are of course exceptions. If, if you are one of them, more power to you. By this, I mean actually being focused and immersed in your work. Actively learning and revising, not scrolling on your phone every 10 minutes, grabbing a coffee or snacks, or suddenly getting the urge to clean your plan. How we can avoid getting distracted during study breaks? There are actually ways to avoid getting distracted during study breaks. First is the right out a study to do this. The trick here is learning how not how to not get distracted while studying by creating by creating a simple study to do list or study schedule. Creating a to do list at the start of each study session sessions will help your child to understand which task need to be tackled first. Ensure your child crosses out each task once it is complete. This helps to keep them accountable and new skills a feeling of accomplishment. Second, is the first find the right place to do the work. Whether your child needs a quiet place for their online tutoring sessions or they have an exam coming up, the right environment can be in everything when it comes to concentration and productivity. For younger children, learning how to focus on studying, finding the perfect place with few or no distractions can make a world of difference. Thank you, Xavier. Let's move on to question Miguel. Miguel, there is more ways to avoid getting distracted during study break? Yes, they are put pawns on do not disturb. Resisting the distraction of pawns is very difficult for many students and can have negative impact on productivity levels while trying to focus on studying. The easiest way to avoid this portable distraction is to activate do not, disturb, do not disturb mode and put them somewhere out of sight. In fact, having a phone free zone can be hugely beneficial when it comes to study, which is beneficial when it comes to studying, focus, and retaining information. And lastly, listen to music. If the students are trying to study in a busy environment or can just hear a general household noise in the background, it can be very, very distracting. That's why using it pause to listen to music can make it much easier to focus and enable to them to zone out any noise. Research has also found that listening to music, classical or instrumental music, improves concentration while working. So if you're looking for tips on how to avoid distraction while studying, this might be helpful for you. Wow! Now that we know about study uh -huh. as well as you can do during the particular period, right? So in this podcast, we will we talk study breaks are essential for maintaining productivity and focus. They allow our brain to recharge and prevent burnout. Effective study breaks involve activities that are, that are relaxing, engaging, or unrelated to academics. Examples include going for a walk, meditating, listening to music, and chatting with friends. This key is to find activities that help you relax and return to your studies feeling refreshed. I hope everyone that you learned about our topic for today. Once again, I am Jacob Polino and thank you for listening. Wonder World Whispers. Bye!